Toto, what is this place? Ruff, ruff. Where's Auntie M? Last I home was to pick the house right up and put it down again, but where? Welcome, most noble witch, to the country of the Munchkins. Toto, Purr. stay close. We are grateful to you, noble witch. I'm not a witch. My name's Dorothy. I come from Kansas. You have killed the wicked witch of the east and set us free. We, we thank you, noble Dorothy. Dorothy. I haven't killed anyone. Your house did. Those are her feet with the silver slippers. Oh dear, the house must have fallen right on her. Oh, what a glorious day in Munchkin country! Dorothy has killed the Wicked Witch of the East. The East Witch is dead, a big house fell on her head. No more we dread, the East Witch is dead, the East Witch is gone. Happy we sing this song, ring bell, ding dong. The East Witch is gone, sing, sing. Everybody stand up and raise your voice, sing, sing. Everybody sing and rejoice. The East Witch is gone, happy we sing this song, ring bell, ding dong. The East Witch is gone, sing, sing. Everybody stand up and raise your voice, sing, sing. Everybody sing and rejoice. The wind blew, the sky got dark, the house it come tumbling down. Soon in the sky, we see a welcome mat. Flat, that was that, she no more. The witch and her hat are flat where they sat. I didn't mean to hurt her. You've set the munchkins free. The wicked witch held them on a bondage for many years, making them slaves for her day and night. Where am I? Munchkin country, in the magical land of Oz. Oz? Is that anywhere near Kansas? I'm afraid I don't know where that is. And who are you? Oh, I'm Glinda Good, Witch of the North. I've never heard of a good witch. I thought all witches were wicked. <laughs> Only two. The wicked witch of the west and the wicked witch of the east. Whom you have destroyed. Tell us, noble Dorothy, how did you come to this place? There was a cyclone in Kansas, and before I could tell what was happening, it picked up my house and carried it off into the sky. If it brought us here, there must be a way to get back home. I wish I knew how to help you. Perhaps Oz will help her. Let Dorothy go to the Emerald City. Yes, maybe our great wizard can show you the way. Where's the city? Who's Oz? It is exactly in this in center and in of things and is ruled by Oz, the great wizard I spoke of. How do I get there? You must walk. It is a long journey, sometimes dark and terrible. However, I will give you my magic arts to keep you from harm. Won't you go with me? I cannot do that, but no one will dare injure a person who has been blessed by Glinda the Good. The road to the Emerald City is paved with yellow brick. You can't miss it. When you get to Oz, do not be afraid of him, but tell him your story of the cyclone and ask for his help. Where's this Dorothy? Where's the girl that killed the Wicked Witch of the East? I want those slippers. Give me the slippers that belong to the Wicked Witch of the East. You have no power here. I want those silver slippers. Ah! Oh, they burn! Oh, silver slippers burn! I told you, you have no power here. Dorothy's shoes are thin and worn. She'll need those silver slippers for her journey to Oz. No, they're mine! Beware. Take these, Dorothy, and never take them off. I'm afraid. Do as I say. I can't touch you here in Munchkin Country, sweet little Dorothy, but you can escape me forever. I'll make you pay for what you did to the Wicked Witch of the East. It was an accident. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Pay her no mind. She is gone, my friends. And remember, follow the yellow brick road. That's all you have to do, just follow the yellow brick road. Yes, really, it's that simple. Just stick to the saffron pavement for the Emerald City. Lift 
Lift your feet. Follow the road. Sound that beat. Follow the road. Step on down. Follow the road. Stomp that ground. Follow the road. You better listen up and do it my way. I say stay on the old brick highway. You might have another chance today if you stay on the road. Call the Wizard of Oz. He's the one, all right. That'll listen to your cause. He's been living in a place they call the Emerald City. He's also the chairman of the social committee. He's a powerful guy, and the people do say, and if you're gonna get there, you better be on your way. See the yellow brick road's gonna take you there. Where's an ever turn that you're looking everywhere? You see, the Witch of the West is gonna be in your face when she sees her sister all over the place. So if you want my advice, you better stay on track and don't look back. Ease your mind, follow the road. Leave your fears behind, follow the road. Walk that walk, follow the road. Talk that talk, follow the road. Better listen up and do it my way. I say stay on the yellow brick highway. You might find a better life if you stay on the road. My, they certainly are unusual shoes. They certainly are. Who said that? I did. Where are you? Over here. Ruff, ruff! Did you just speak? Certainly. How do you do? Pretty well. How about you? I'm not feeling so well. My arms hurt. Why don't you just put them down? I can't. There are sticks in my sleeves. If you take them out, I would be obliged. No trouble at all. How's that? I feel like a whole new scarecrow. Except for one thing. I ain't got a brain in my head. I don't believe I've ever met a talking scarecrow before. The magical land of Oz is like that. I, I think. You think? You don't know? I don't know much of anything. My head is stuffed with straw, so I have no brains. Gosh, it's hard to imagine not having any brains. At least you know how to imagine. When you have no brains, like me, you're limited as to what you can do. I've been a run-down scarecrow king. I can't conquer up a thought And you know he no with rip Ain't too bright and ain't too quick But brains ain't what I got Yes, I got straw in my britches Straw in my hat Straw in my overcoat Imagine that! Well, I face each day with a feeling of dread Cause I ain't got a brain in my head Well, I've been hanging here since I don't know when Trying to scare a crow or two Bar! They all laugh, think I'm slow, guess they'll never know Cause I ain't got a brain to show Yes, I got straw in my britches, straw in my hat Straw in my overcoat You don't say Well, I face each day with the feeling of dread Cause I ain't got a brain in my head I got straw in my britches, straw in my hat, straw in my overcoat. Imagine that! Well, I face each day with the feeling of dread, cause I ain't got a brain in my head. No, I ain't got a brain in my head. No, I ain't got a brain in my head. No, sir! I heard you were going to find Oz. If I go with you to the Emerald City, do you think the Great Wizard will give me some brains? I don't know, but you can come with me if you like. Oh, thank you, Dorothy. You're a very kind person. You see, I don't mind my arms and legs being stuffed with straw because I can't get hurt. 
If anybody sticks a pin in me or steps on my toes, it doesn't matter, for I can't feel it. Never thought of that. But if my head stays stuffed with straw, people will call me a fool. We'll see what the wizard can do for you. Grr! He doesn't like me. You mustn't mind, Toto. He never bites. He's just not used to you yet. Oh, I am not afraid. There's only one thing in the world I'm afraid of, and that's a whited match. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Don't run far, Toto. Now, which way to Oz, I wonder? Oh, I know. Which way? This way. Or maybe this way. You're not going to be much help. I told you, I have no brains. Ruff, ruff. Toto, finally, Albrick Road. Oh, oh, oh. I feel like I'm coming apart at the seams. Take some time to learn how to walk, but you'll get the hang of it. Oh, thank you, Dorothy. You're a very kind person. Lift your feet. Follow the road. Sound happy. Follow the road. Step on down. Follow the road. Not so fast, Toto. We're having trouble keeping up. Ruff, ruff. I hope we find the wizard at home. We have to find the Emerald City first. Well, we shouldn't have any trouble if we just follow the yellow bricks here on the road. That's good thinking. Is it? I never know. We ought to search for some water. W why? To wash my face from all the dust on the road. Besides, I'm thirsty. It must be inconvenient to be made out of flesh. You have to eat, drink, and wash. It takes a lot of work to be a human being. However, you have brains. It's worth a lot to be able to think properly. What was that? I didn't hear anything. I'm sure I heard something. There it is again. Some wind in the trees, maybe? Oh my, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. What? What is it? It's a man, but he's made of tin. I've been groaning for over a year. No one has ever come by to help me. What can we do? There's an oil can at the foot of that tree. I'm all rusted. I can't move. You poor thing. Oh, please hurry. It would help if you move out to where the light is better. I can't move? Scarecrow will help you. Of, of course. Of course. <laughs> You'll be feeling better in no time. So, what's first? Oof. my mouth, then my nose. Ooh, that's good. Now how about my toes? My ankles, my knees, if you please. Tip that can till I can move with ease. Now my elbows, my shoulders, don't forget my face. Just to pour that crude all over the place. That's wonderful. Oh, that's marvelous. It's so good to get cranky now, I confess. Now my fingers and my wrists, ooh, that's bliss. Don't forget my back while you're on the track. My jawbone, my ears, oh, what the heck? Slide that oil all around my neck. It's a simple little process, do you get the point? Just to lubricate me, sister, in every joint. That's wonderful, oh, that's marvelous. It's so good to get cranky now, I confess. I'm slick, I'm sleek, a clean machine, a tip-top tin man, see what I mean? 
a high performance power pack mechanical man if i break down just lube me again that's wonderful oh that's marvelous it's so good to get cranky now i confess that's wonderful i'm feeling like a brand new man Listen to me, sister, now if I break down Just loop me again I'm good for another 3,000 miles Oh, that feels so much better. I must have been holding that axe in the air forever. Oh, how did you come by to be here? We're on our way to the Emerald City to see the wizard. Why do you want to see Oz? I want him to send me back to Kansas, and the Scarecrow wants him to put a brain in his head. Brains could be very useful, I think. Well, <laughs> I'd like to feel something besides the stiffness in my joints. Do you suppose the wizard could give me a heart? I'm not sure. It wouldn't hurt to ask. Huh. Well, if you would allow me to join you on your journey, I would like to ask him to give me a heart. I've never had a heart, you know. I did not know. But then again, I do not know much of anything. Ruff, ruff! Oh, I better take this along with me. If it were to rain, I'd need my oil can. I would ask for brains instead of a heart, because a fool wouldn't know what to do with a heart if he had one. Well, I would prefer a heart over a brain, because a brain doesn't make someone happy. I wish I knew which one of you was right. Let's leave it up to the wizard. That's a good idea. To the Emerald City. nice fur mouse for my hands on a cold day. <laughs> oh, and I'll have something extra special planned for that Dorothy. Follow the road, follow the road, follow the road, follow the road. That's right. Keep your spirits high now. Once you find me, you'll never see the light of day again. Because I've rearranged the bricks in the road to lead them right into the forest of fighting trees. <laughs> How long before, before we meet the wizard, I wonder? Uh, I don't know. I've never been to the Emerald City, but I heard it's a long journey through dangerous country. I hope we don't meet anything scary like that wicked witch of the West. Oh, I'm not afraid, as long as I'm my trusty oil can. And I am just stuffed with straw, so nothing can hurt me. And Glinda the Good said her protecting, her blessing would protect me from harm. Ruff, ruff! What about Toto? What's going to protect him? We gotta protect him ourselves in case he gets in any danger. What was that? Maybe it was just our imaginations. I don't think so. It sounds like a fierce lion. But where where is it? There! Oh! Oh! oh help. I feel like I'm gonna faint! Don't you dare bite Toto! A big beast like you trying to bite a poor little dog? <laughs> I didn't bite him. But you tried to. You didn't have to hit me. You hurt my little nose. Why are you such why are you making such a big fuss? You hit my nose. It stings. You're nothing but a big coward. Oh, I know. But how can I help it? To think of you striking a poor man like the scarecrow. Oh thank you, Dorothy. You gave me quite a fright. Toto, go find the Tin Woodsman. Ruff, ruff. So, what makes you a coward? I suppose I was born that way. All the other animals in the forest expect me to be big and brave. Because the lion is supposed to be the king of the beasts. As long as I keep roaring, no one seems to notice I'm really a coward. Do you have any brains? I suppose so. I've never looked. We're on our way to the Emerald City to see the wizard. Maybe he could help you. How? 
I'm going to ha ask for brains. And I'm asking him to send me back to Kansas. Oh, and I'm gonna ask him to give me a heart. I'm heartless, you know. Do you think Oz could give me courage? Just as easily as he could give me brains. Or give me a heart. Or send me back to Kansas. Then, if you don't mind, I'll go with you. Life ain't much without a little bit of courage. A life ain't much without a little bit of courage. I ain't just a lion. Life ain't much without a little bit of courage. No, indeed. It ain't no assumption, I ain't got the gumption I'm a frightened little kitty, don't know what to do I said life ain't much without a little bit of courage I'm just a crybaby hairball, life ain't much without a little bit of courage What can I say? Good golly gosh, I ain't got no panache I'm a feline failure living in disgrace Ain't got no bounce in my pounce No zing in my spring No pride in my stride I'm sad to announce I'm weak when I sneak I stall when I crawl It's enough to make a big old I am ball I said life ain't much Without a little bit of courage Ain't no denying I'm a cowardly lion A yellow belly tabby with a baby face Ain't got no growl in my howl No might in my bite No zip in my dip No oath in my fight When the other lions snicker I stand up and bicker It's a dang good thing I'm a whole lot quicker Life ain't much Without a little bit of courage I'm just a sissy-fied football. Life ain't much without a little bit of courage. Yes, indeed, I've been stricken. I'd rather run than take a lickin'. There ain't nothing but a bockin' bockin' chicken living life on the run. It ain't no fun, I ain't nothing but a bockin' bockin' chicken living life on the run! How embarrassing! Oh, Pearl Lion, don't be embarrassed. But come on, we've got a long way to go. We must have walked for miles and miles. I hope the wizard will welcome us. Oh, oh! What's wrong? I must have dropped the oil can when they'll carry the light and frighten me. Oh, what'll I do if it rains? Never fear, I'll cover you with my feline fur if it's to rain. You can think of me as an umbrella. <laughs> That's not very funny. One drop of rain and I'll rust again! Well, I'm sorry that happened, but are we gonna stand here all day or continue on with our journey? This can be a dangerous force when it wants to be. I wouldn't want to be here at night. Listen. What is it? It's pretty, whatever it is. I think it's a lullaby. Makes me sleepy. Hmm. 
The flowers are so lovely. Oh, lovely. If only I had a heart, I could really appreciate them. They're so bright, and they sing so sweetly. Betty, bye. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. If I ever get back home, I love to plant these flowers. Aunt Sam would love them. Oh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to take a short snooze. Good night, Dorothy. Good night. <laughs> That's right, my dear. Sleep, sleep. Listen to the lullaby of the deadly yellow flowers. For once you do, you'll never wake up again. <laughs> oh, now to get those silver slippers. Wait. Ah, oh, curses. Until they're in Emerald City, they're under my protection. All right, Glinda, have it your way. I know the rules of Oz, but once they're in my domain, you'll be powerless to help them. You're more wicked than the witch Dorothy destroyed. <sighs> Haven't forgotten about that, Dorothy. I hate that child. Be gone before I change you into a field mouse. Wake up, Tin Woodsman. Wake up, Cowardly Lion. Wake up, Scarecrow. Wake up, Dorothy. Wake up, Toto. Feels I've slept for hours. Ruff, ruff! Oh, I had the funniest dream. I saw a witch. You call that funny? No. This is a good witch. Hmm. <sighs> After that snooze, I could walk all day and all night. Goodness! What, what, what's wrong? The flowers, they're gone. Huh, well what do you make of that? This certainly is the strangest forest I've ever been in. Let's get out of here. I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared of. <laughs> get down! Get down! Who is that laughing? I don't know, but it's gone awfully dark. My goose flesh has goosebumps. We'll, we'll walk slowly. Okay. Was that tree there before? <laughs> China is most fragile, like a teacup or a saucer or a dainty figurine on a shelf. Do not chip me. Do not break me. Leave me quite alone. We must be getting close to the Emerald City. I'm not so sure. The Wicked Witch of the West has most certainly confused us. I hope we don't run into anything like those fighting trees again. If we hadn't made it to the end of the forest, they would have had us and we never would have gotten away. Dorothy, don't even think things like that. China is most fragile, like a teacup or a saucer or a dainty figurine on a shelf. Do not chip me, do not break me, leave me quite alone. Who's that? I'm the China princess of the dainty China country. Everyone here is breakable. Take care, take care. The dainty China country? Take a look around, but if you break anything, you won't be able to leave until you pay for it. She's quite right. Look at the walls. They're painted with teacups and little statues. And China sugar bowls. Don't get too close. You may cause a crack, and that would make me foolish. Who knew somebody else could be foolish? I thought I was the only one. We're on our way to the Emerald City. We just escaped the forest of the fighting trees. No one escapes from the forest of the fighting trees. Well, we did. Then you are most unusual. No more unusual than you are. Why, well, you're the first ever talking teapot I've met. I'm not a teapot. I'm a princess. Anyways, you're getting too close. Stand back. Do not chip me. Do not break me. Leave me quite alone. If you break me, my delicate beauty will be marred and you won't be able to leave. My, you are so beautiful. I'd like to take you home and put you on my mantle. That would make me unhappy. Why? You see, here in our own country, we can talk and move around as we please. It isn't much fun on mantles and cabinets and dining room tables. We wouldn't make you unhappy for all the world, would we? Why do you wish to go to the Emerald City? It's a long story. No one can pass through the China country without my permission. Please. On one condition. What is it? The citizens of the dainty China country are so brittle, you mustn't touch them. Do not break them. Do not chip them. Leave them quite alone. We, we promise. I believe you. Walk this way. I'm glad I'm made of straw and can't be easily damaged. There are worse things than being a scarecrow. How true.
Enter the throne room of the great and powerful Oz. Are either of you the wizard? Certainly not. We guard the wizard. We are military people. Can't you see our uniforms and staffs? In that case, may we see the wizard? We, you're quite alone. My friends are waiting outside. You don't expect the wizard to go outside, do you? Oh, oh no, I'll call them in. It's all right, guys, you can come in. Mm, which one's Oz? These are the guardians of the gates. I've never seen such large staffs before. We've never seen a tin woodsman before, so there. Oh, well, there's no need to be all huffy about it. Should have, we, I don't, I don't even know if we should have come here. Don't be silly. Does the wizard ever come out? Never. Then what does he do with himself all day? He sits behind that screen. What is he like? That is hard to say. Oz is so powerful of a wizard, he can take on any form as he wishes. We never had anything like that in Kansas. Some say he looks like a bird. A bird? <laughs> and some say he looks like an elephant. An elephant? <laughs> and some say he looks like a cat. Hush, Toto. And to others, he appears as a big ball of burning flame. Oh, 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 these are scaring me. Let's leave. There's nothing to be scared of. Oh, but I know. If we stay here, something terrible's gonna happen. We have to get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. So you mean no one knows what the real wizard looks like? Who the real Oz is when he is in his own form, no living person can tell. Then he must be a really good wizard. Why do they call this place Thermal City? Silly child, because everything here is the color of green. Doesn't look green to me. That's because you're not looking through green colored glasses. <laughs> you're right, everything is green. Wow, that's amazing. Why do you wish to see Oz? I want him to send me back to Kansas. I want him to give me some brains. I want him to give me a heart. I want him to give me courage. Oz could do all of that easily. That's wonderful. He has more brains than he needs and a large collection of hearts, all sizes and shapes. Don't forget my courage. Oz keeps a great pot of courage covered by a golden lid to keep it from running over. And can he send me back to Kansas? Where is Kansas? I don't know, but it's my home, so I know it's somewhere. Very well, wait here. I'll deliver your requests. Watch them carefully. Who knows if anyone from someplace called Kansas can be trusted. My, these glasses really do make a difference. Wait, Dorothy, but what if the wizard refuses to help us? Or if he turns into that elephant and steps on us. Wait, what's an elephant? Hmm, an elephant's like a mouse with big ears, only much larger. Are we really going to look at the terrible face of Oz? I haven't come all this way just to turn my back on him. Look, he's coming back. Will the wizard see us? At first, he was angry and said we should send you back to where you came from. Then he asked me what you look like, and when I described your silver shoes, he was very much interested. The great and powerful Oz will see you. Where is he? Wait here. Prepare to meet the great and powerful Oz. of Oz, great and powerful. Well, I'm larger than life, bigger than big. Some say you must find things in my jig. I wonder what can keep the same magic in my hand. I even do a little sign of hand. Fairy God, mother, father, on and on. If I can't do it, it can't be done. I'm a snake, charming, hypnotizing, magical man. I get from the biggest fan. He's got the power to make you what you want to be. He's got the power to show you what you see. He's got the power to set you free. The wizard of Oz, the great and powerful. Need a little hocus pocus, an abracadabra, or have some mumbo jumbo. How does he grab you? He's a hard wizard, wait and see. I even dabble in astrology. He's got the power to make you what you want to be. He's got the power to show you what you want to see. He's got the power to set you free. Cause he's a wizard of Oz, great and powerful. He's got the power to make you what you want to be. He's got the power to show you what you want to see. He's got the power to set you free. Cause he's a wizard of Oz, great and powerful.
the great and powerful. Those who do not seek me must leave now. Who are you and why do you seek me? I'm Dorothy, the small and meek. Where did you get those silver slippers? I got them from the Wicked Witch of the East when my house fell on her. Oh, please, Your Honor, send me back to Kansas. Send me back to my Auntie M. Silence! Set forward, Tin Woodsman. Um, yes, Your Wizardship. What do you wish from the great and powerful Oz, you miserable pile of clanking junk? Well, Oz, I wish to have a heart. I wish to feel things like other men feel. Please, Oz, please give me a heart so that I can be like other men. Silence! Step forward, Scarecrow. If I had any brains right now, I would be terrified. So it's brains you want, you poor excuse for a crow's nest. Well, you're a noble ship. I wouldn't be a poor excuse for anything if you would put some brains in my head. Silence! Step forward, lion. No, no, I don't want to. Do not incur the wrath of the great and powerful Oz. Oh, oh, oh. We've got to help him. <laughs> I want my mommy. I want to go home. I'll be a good boy. I'll clean up my room. Silence! <laughs> Speak! Go on, tell me what you want. Don't worry, we're your friends. We won't let any harm come to you. Yeah, it's so good to have friends. It's such a lovely day. Let's go have a picnic. Come back here, you wretched coward! <laughs> yes, Great Oz, I'm a coward. A cowardly lion. I come to you to beg that you give me courage so I can become king of beasts, as men call me. Enough! Will you grant our requests? In this country, everyone must pay for what they want. If you wish to use my powers to help you, you first must help me. How are we supposed to help someone that is great and powerful like you? Destroy the power of the Wicked Witch of the West. How are we supposed to do that? You destroy the Wicked Witch of the East, you can destroy the Wicked Witch of the West. If you can't destroy the power of the Wicked Witch of the West, how do you expect us to do that? That's your problem. Not fair. Oz has spoken. Oh, oh, Dorothy, I'll never have my courage. I'll never get my brains. I'll never feel the beat of my own heart. Now stop it, all of you. It's not going to do any good just to sit around here and complain. That never gets anything done. So, what kind of friends would we be if we didn't help her? Oh, not very good ones, I'm afraid. We'll be alright as long as we stay together. Gee, Dorothy, you sure got a lot of courage. I'm not sure I even have the heart to harm a witch. I don't know how <sighs> much help I'll be. I'm such a fool. We'll be alright. Stay together. 
together, my friends. We will conquer all our fears and learn to be free. I will have the courage I know. I will have the brains and I know. I will have the heart to feel what's real. And we know you will find our way back home again. There's a light in the distance ever Shining bright in the distance Never growing dim For it's there to lead us out Of the darkness That's right, kids. Keep your spirits high now. For once you find me, you'll never see the light of day again. <laughs> this is as far as we can go. But where's the road? There is no road. No one ever wishes to go to the castle of the Wicked Witch of the West. How will we ever find her? That will be easy. When she knows you are in her, her domain, she will find you and make you all her slaves. Slaves? Oh, oh, oh. I'm not going to be anyone's slave. Oh, let's go back. Grr! Mm, nice speech. Nice speech. Perhaps she won't make us her slaves. After all, we are trying to destroy her power. Take care. She's wicked, clever, and fierce. Keep to the west, where the sun sets, and you will find her. Wait, which way is west? That way! We've escorted you this far. We must return to the Emerald City. <laughs> what is it, you flying pelt of fleas? Give me that. Aha! I see them. That Dorothy and her wretched dog, and that tin woodsman, and that cowardly lion, and the walking sack of straw. Hmm. I know what I'll do. I'll send a pack of wolves. Wolves have fierce eyes and long legs and sharp teeth. <laughs> or, or I could send a flock of crows enough to darken the sky. They could pack them to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> or I could send a swarm of bees to sing them forever and ever. <laughs> or, or perhaps these two nice boys and girls in the audience could help me think of something evil and wicked I might do to them. No! You don't want me to let Dorothy and her friends get away, do you? Yes! Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> Children, I decide what's best, not you. Not you! Children should be seen, not heard, miserable brats. Whew. Capture the lion and bring him to me. I'll harness him and make him work. Destroy the Tin Woodsman and the Scarecrow and seize Dorothy. I must have those slippers. Carefully, quickly, hide yourselves so they do not see you. 
That's right. Almost there. Closer. Closer. Welcome, my friends, to the domain of the Wicked Witch of the West. Remember, Dorothy, your good friend Glinda the Good has no power here. <laughs> Welcome to the Castle of No Return. Castle of no return. Once again, the ladle of death will churn in my cauldron. I'll brew a deliciously succulent stew with the last condiment, the ingredient. My guest, rest assured, it's no request. I never fool, never jest. Not the queen of acts, the black magic mama. Come on along and be my slave. I'll work you to an early grave. That's only if you behave. I love this job, I love the drama. I'm the wicked witch of the West. The king's A spicy grown, you will learn. In the castle of no return, she'll make a grand orangutan, a fine addition to my clan. Or perhaps I'll change her to a man, a giant ogre, big and burly. Come on along and say you'll stay. I learn it have it any other way. You work and work, never play. I'm a She's the wicked witch of the West. The kingpin of sorcery has witches go. She's the best, a feisty crow you will learn. In the castle of no return, see it to be my little baby chippies. Come on along and be her guest. Rest assured, it's no request. I never fall. Come on along and be her slave. She'll work you to an early grave. That's only if you behave. I love this job. I love the drama. She's the wicked witch of the West. The king's pit of sorcery. As witches go, she's the best. A feisty grove you will learn. In the castle of, in the castle of, in the castle of no return! Welcome to the castle of no return. Yeah. I, I thought I saw a wolf. I thought I saw a bee. I thought I saw a crow. Ooh, we better keep our eyes open. Man, who could sleep in this place? You don't think the Wicked Witch knows we're on our way, do you? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Listen. What? I know it sounds silly, but... It, but what? It sounded like the sound of monkeys. Monkeys? <laughs> monkeys. Not only that, I think I heard the sound of wings. W wings? Wings? Oh, oh, oh. What now? Well, the Wicked Witch of the West lives beyond the land of the winged monkeys. I think the wizard only told us that to scare us, to see if we would actually do his bidding. I don't. W why, why, why is that? 
Because here they come. Oh, Rose, oh, no. what oh, the fuck? Oh, no. oh, oh, no. oh, oh, wait for me. Oh, no. Follow me. I want help, my help mama. Water. I want my mama. <laughs> <sighs> How humiliating. How degrading. How debasing. Me, king of beasts. Forced to wait on that wicked witch, paw and foot. She's so cruel. All she feeds her winged monkeys are the shells of peanuts. She saves the best parts for herself. She torments me night and day. Nothing satisfies her. She criticizes my cooking, my sweeping, my washing of her dirty pots and pans. I've had enough. I'm a lion, not a mouse. I shall tell the wicked witch to find herself a new pussycat. Pick up that broom. Yes, ma'am. I'm sweeping. There's joy in honest labor. Hot up. Yes, ma'am. Have you made up your mind yet, you cowardly worm? I'm not a cowardly worm. What are you then? I'm a cowardly lion. Are you going to let me harness you to my chariot? No. I want you to pull me through the countryside like a dumb horse. Never. Hmm. He's very defiant for a cat in his position. I know he must be hungry because, well, I haven't fed him in days. Hmm. Have it your way. I shall continue to starve you until you do as I wish. I won't do it. And if you keep insisting, I'll bite you. What? Well, maybe just a little nibble. You miserable excuse for a mouse catcher. Yes, ma'am. Did I tell you to sit down? Get up! Yes, ma'am. Sweep. I'm sweeping. Watch me sweep, sweep, sweep. Look, big good witch. One hand. I brought another pail of water. This place takes a great deal of scrubbing. D D Dorothy, she was just here. The wicked witch. I'm afraid she'll figure out that you you've been feeding me, and then she'll punish you. We've got to find a way to get out of this place. You're a smart girl. You'll think of something. I'm so weary. Oh, um, sit down. I don't know where to find Rest. me resting. She might punish Toto. Oh, have you figured out where she hasn't locked up yet? No, but she knows I wouldn't do anything if it means he comes to harm. Hmm. <sighs> oh, poor Dorothy. I hate to see you sad. Who knows what's become of the Tin Woodsman and the Scarecrow? Here, use the tip of my tail. Thank you. I guess I'm not as brave as I thought. Dorothy, <laughs> Dorothy, you're the bravest person I know. That's kind of you to say so. <sighs> now you must keep your spirits up if we're to find a way out of here. How can I be so cheerful when things are so hopeless? Well, when my spirits used to be down, my mom used to do the old soft paw. What's that? Come on, I'll show it to you. <laughs> Bippity bop, how I love to dance the old soft paw. It's the most contagious dance you ever saw. Bippity bop, watch me dance it, prance it, move without a flaw. Bippity bop, I hope to leave them standing there in awe. I hope it sticks in the craw. I'm the envy of the pride when I'm in my stride dancing to. The old soft paw. Bippity bip. When you see me turn around, you'll just flip. It's a wonder with these paws I never trip. Bippity bip. Watch me bounce it, flounce it. You know I never slip. Bippity bip. A tiny shuffle, then a sudden dip. I hope to see them bite their lip. I'm the king of the hookers. The best you ever saw when I danced the old soft pop. Come on, Dorothy, you try it. Bippity boo. I would love to dance the old soft shoe. That's it. Dance away my every care with you. All oh, shucks. Bippity boo. How delightful, bright blue. Show me what to do. I'm so glad to have you for my chum. 
bippity bum. We'll be pals forever, tighter than a drum, bippity bum. No matter what the problem we will overcome. Ain't no use feeling glum. We'll be wary, we'll be watchful. Keep a ready call. While we dance, the old soft paw. While we dance, the old soft paw. I'm sweeping, I'm sweeping. Take him down to the dungeons. Let him sweep out the cells that I keep the prisoners in below in the damp darkness. No, I don't want to go down there. Who cares what you want? I decide things around here. There are spiders down there. So? I'm afraid of creepy crawly things. Why? Well, they remind me of you. Ah! <laughs> Be careful, I'm trying to. What are you doing? Seize him! Ow! Ow! Stop it! You're hurting him! Ow! Ow! Disturbs him right. No one talks back to me. I surrender. I don't have the courage to resist. To the dungeons. Ow! You're yes. wicked and cruel. Pick up that broom! Yes, ma'am! <laughs> You're very bad monkeys. Ow! Don't Ow. worry, I'll get you! Ow, get away from me! I must have those shoes, those pretty silver slippers. With them, I shall be the most powerful witch in the world. But because Glenda the Good handed them off to Dorothy, I can't take them off with my own hands. Hmm. I know what I'll do. I'll conjure up an invisible iron bar. No one with human eyes will be able to see it. Now let me think, what's the proper spell? Oh, yeah. First, I stand on my right foot. Epe pepe keke. Epe pepe keke. Now, I stand on my left foot. Hilo hollow hello. Hilo hollow hello. And now, I stand on both of my feet. Zizzy zuzzy zick. Zizzy zuzzy zick. Ah. Fine invisible bar of iron. Don't let them hurt the poor lion. Oh, always looking out for other people, aren't you, Dorothy? You're so sweet. <sighs> Won't you please let us out of this place? All I have to do is give me the silver slippers. Glinda the Good said I never can take them off. I don't know what their power is, but you can't have them. Silence! Oh! Oh! Put that there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Silly me. <sighs> Sit at that table. Why? Don't ask questions. Do as you're told. Ugh. Don't stop making those horrid faces. You're gonna get wrinkles. Now, would you please tell us what you've done with the Tin Woodsman and the Scarecrow? First the slippers, then the answers. I've told you a hundred times. I promise, Glinda. Very well. We'll see how well your friends are doing without you. It's the Tin Woodsman. Dorothy. Dorothy, help! Where are you? I'm right over here! Dorothy, where are you? I'm all rusted again! Dorothy! I'm right over here! Can't you see me? Dorothy, where are you? Dorothy! Why can't he see me? Why can't he hear me? Because he isn't really in the castle. You only think he is. It's magic! Oh, Dorothy, it took my straw and scattered it all over the place. The winged monkeys took his hat and his straw and threw it up into the highest branches of the tree. <laughs> Please help me, Dorothy. I need you. I would help you, but I don't know where you are. The silver slipper. I promise, Glinda the Good. Have it your way. Dorothy, Dorothy, where are you? I'm so worried about you. Oh, Dorothy, you're breaking my heart. Where are you, child? I want to see him. I thought I'd never see you again. We've searched everywhere. Even your little dog is gone. What could have happened to you? I want to see him. We got lost in this place called Oz. We met a wicked witch. We got lost in the forest and... Dorothy, where are you? Dorothy, please come home. Dorothy, Dorothy. I want to see him. Please don't go. Dorothy, Dorothy. Ah, 
twisted my ankle. Oh, I knew that invisible iron bar would work. Oh, it hurts. Victory! Give me my shoe back. I will not. It's mine, not yours. <laughs> You've no right. I shall keep it all the same. You got one shoe thanks to your magical ways, but you're never getting the other one. Yes, I will, because right now, I'm going to throw your little dog into the moat. But Toto can't swim! Then give me the other slipper! No! Have your way. You wicked, wicked witch! Ah! Oh! No! Water! Oh, no! That's the one thing that could destroy me! <laughs> I underestimated you, Dorothy! I never thought a little girl like you could destroy my wicked power! Oh! What a world! Oh! Oh, someone help me! I'm bouncing! Please! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh. She melted! Dorothy! Dorothy! <laughs> Dorothy, suddenly all the doors in the dungeon opened and everyone was set free! Oh, Toto, it's so good to see you again! Where's the Wicked Witch? See for yourself! Why, there's nothing there but a puff of fog. She melted. Is it true? Is she really dead? She's gone? Are you sure she's not coming back? You guys can speak? How is it you can talk? Long ago, she burst under her evil spell and took away our power of speech. We could never be free of her. We always had to do her bidding, no matter how wicked her commands were. If only we had some proof she sh was truly defeated. Here's your proof. Hooray! The last witch is dead. Up still down right to her head. No more we get. The last witch is dead. The last witch is gone. Happy we sing this song. Ring bell, ding dong. The last witch is gone. Sing, sing. Everybody stand up and raise your voice. Sing, sing. Everybody sing and rejoice. Sing, sing. Everybody stand up and raise your voice. Sing, sing. Everybody sing and rejoice. Sing and rejoice. Sing and rejoice. Sing and rejoice. Sing and I can hardly wait for my courage. We can't worry about that now. We've got to find the Tin Woodsman and the Scarecrow. We'll never find them. Yes, you will. We'll show you where they are. Oh, thank you. Let's go before we're too late. Ruff, ruff. Oh, help me. Somebody help me. I wish I could help you out, Scarecrow. I can hardly help myself. I'm all rusted again. Where's Dorothy? Oh, she's lost in the castle with the Wicked Witch. Oh. Oh. I'm getting weaker and weaker. I'm not feeling too good myself. This is the way. Follow us. Oh no, they're coming back. Who? The winged monkeys. Oh no. Oh yes. Help, help. Somebody help. Get away. Get away. Here he is, right where we left him. You poor thing. Dorothy? Dorothy, is that you? Dorothy? Did you say Dorothy? How did you escape? Be careful of those winged monkeys. Look what they did to me. You mustn't blame them. They were under a spell of the Wicked Witch. But they're free now and showed us how to get here. I'm all rusted again. You'll be feeling better in no time. Oh, thank you, Dorothy. That feels so much better. Oh, is that little Toto, too? Yeah, we're all safe now. Dorothy has destroyed the power of the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh, but how? She melted when I threw a pail of water on her. That's strange. When somebody throws water on me, I rust. Everyone's different. There, that should do it. Thank you so much, Dorothy. Uh, the winged monkey showed me where they kept their fresh straw. Oh, You poor scarecrow. Oh, that, there's not much left of them, I'm afraid. They scattered him all over the place. Oh, that's why I brought the straw. We'll stuff you back to life. And then we'll, we'll, we'll return to the Emerald City. Oh, oh, oh. What's wrong? Oh, that's an awful long journey. I'm afraid. No need to worry. 
I am king of the wing monkeys, and I'll have my people fight Oz. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. Let's fix the scarecrow and go. Oh, well, what are we waiting for? Bring the straw. Enter the throne room of the great and powerful Oz. What? You're back? I thought we sent you to seek the Wicked Witch of the West. I not only went to see her, I found her. And she let you go? She couldn't help it. She's melted. Melted? Oh, well, that is good news indeed. We came here to get our request granted. Very well. Wait here. Oh, what did he say? What did the wizard say? One of the guardians of the gates is going to see if he's in. Oh, I can hardly wait for my courage. My brains. Just kidding, my heart. My brains. My return to Kansas. <laughs> Toto's so excited. Message from the great and powerful Oz. Yes? Yes. yes. He says, come back tomorrow. No. Come tomorrow? Tomorrow? We do what he asks. He has to see us today. Yeah, today. Yeah, we want to see Oz. I am Oz, the great and powerful. Why do you seek me? Goodness, you have a great deal of frightening people. Why haven't you destroyed the power of the Wicked Witch of the West? But I have, I melted her. She's gone forever. I don't believe you. I don't lie, I tell you she's gone. It's true, I was there. I saw that there's nothing left of her. You can ask the king of the winged monkeys. The winged monkeys can speak again now that they're not under the power of the Wicked Witch of the West. We came here for you to claim your promise. What promise? You promised that if I destroy the power of the Wicked Witch of the West, you send me back to Kansas. And you promised to give me brains? And you'd promise to give me a heart. And you promised to give me courage. Come back tomorrow. I must have time to think. You've had enough time to think. We're not going to wait a day longer. You must keep your promises to us. <laughs> get away, get That's away! Toto. He's with the wizard! <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, what is happening? Yeah. Scarecrow, watch out. Um. Oh. 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 What? Um. What? Um. Um. Uh, He's shorter than I expected. Oh. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. Oz has spoken. Who are you? Supposed to be a great wizard, but I'm just a common man. A humbug. You're a fake? Uh-huh. You see, I used to be a balloonist. What? What's that? A person who goes up in a balloon on circus day to draw a crowd. One day I went up, and when I came down, I was in the magical land of Oz. That's like what happened to me in the cyclone. When everyone saw me coming in my beautiful balloon, they thought I was a great wizard. I used all the tricks in the circus to, that I learned to impress them. You had no right to send us to the witch. I know. But I lived in deadly fear for, for many years. She was always trying to do me harm. So was the Wicked Witch of the East. So when I heard your house had fallen her, you could imagine how pleased I was. We could have been in prison for years. Ah, but you were too smart for her. And I was willing to do anything if you'd only destroy the power of the Wicked Witch of the West. How selfish. You're a very bad man. Oh no, my dear. I'm a very good man. I'm just a very bad wizard. I think you owe the citizens of Oz an apology. I think you're right. Please call a town meeting at once. The great and powerful Oz has called a town meeting. My dear friends in the land of Oz, I have a confession to make. I may not be as great and powerful as you think I am, but in learning this, I have earned a great deal of wisdom. And how much wisdom could that be? Enough wisdom to know that if you care about your friends, you can do almost anything. Well, I shall be very unhappy unless you give me brains. Everyone has brains, nothing unique about that. It's how you use them that counts. Not everyone has a thing that proves they can think deep thoughts. What's this? A diploma with your name written on it. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. 
This certifies that the Scarecrow has satisfactorily completed the course of study prescribed by the School Committee for the Magical Land of Oz, and therefore entitled this diploma. But, Oz, what about my heart? You're wrong to want a heart. It makes most people unhappy. I disagree. That's a matter of opinion. Well then, you still have a heart. Let's see. Which one suits you? This one looks right. Wow. This is incredible. In the morning, I'll work this in with soldering iron. But oh, for I... now, this will do. Oh, I could cry with joy. Don't do that, you'll rust. But is it a kind heart? I don't want it if it isn't kind. It looks very kind to me. Oh, I'm so happy! What about my courage? <laughs> you know, I always, someone always has courage inside them, so I advise you to drink it right away. Personally, I think you have plenty of courage. All you need is confidence in yourself. No living thing is not afraid when it faces danger. True courage is facing danger when you are afraid. He has plenty of that kind of courage already. How do you feel? <laughs> Full of courage. <laughs> All right, Toto. It's our turn. It was easy to make this, the Tin Woodsman, the Scarecrow, and the Lion happy because they imagined I could do anything. But it's going to take more than imagination to carry you back to Kansas. You've got to find a way. I don't know how it can be done. Maybe in a few years I'll find a way to make my balloon float again. A few years? But I want to go home now. I'm sure I can show you a way to get back to Kansas. It's Glinda the Good Witch. Oh, Glinda, it's so good to see you. Can you really send me back? If you sure you wish to go. Yes, of course. Then you better say goodbye to your friends. Goodbye. Will you be all right without me? Of course. I never have to be afraid to be afraid ever again. Now that I have this diploma, there's all sorts of wonderful things I can do. Oh, with a heart I can finally fall in love. Aww. Look, he's blushing. I've never seen a tin can blush before. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, I'll never forget you. Oh, bye, Dorothy. You're a wonderful person. Don't forget us. How could I? None of you forget me. Never. Never ever. Don't worry, we won't. Thank you, my friends in the magical land of Oz. Yay! Come, Dorothy. Is it time to go? Yes. How are you going to do it? I knew the Silver Slippers had powers, but I didn't know what they were. The King of the Winged Monkeys told me everything. You mean the secret is in the slippers? The slippers can carry one to any place in the entire world in just three steps, and each step will be made of a wink of an eye. That's amazing. And all you have to do is click your heels three times and command to the slippers wherever you wish to go. Toto, stay close. Ruff, ruff. I'm going home. I'm finally going home. I'm going to a life I remember from so long ago I'm going home I'm finally going home I'm on my way to a place that lies waiting over the I can't. 
can feel now we won't be long. Is it real? Yes, it's real. I'm finally going home. You're going home. I'm going home. You're finally going home. I'm finally going home. I'm on my way to a place that lies waiting. Take me back to Auntie M. Oh, Auntie M, it's so good to see you again. in the 
Sister.